Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, the new year has come, 2025, and honestly, it's been a great year for me. There's been some ups and downs and everything in between, but it's been pretty damn good. And I've been trying to make this video for the last, god, 14 days. I even tried before it was the new year to get this done and out. And um, it, the video is about what I want Linux to be in 2025 and it's it's very simple i just wanted to get faster i wanted to get more efficient i want better wayland support for nvidia which should be coming uh near the end of the month for the 570 drivers which is going to be mind-blowingly good i want less fragmentation well, most people think well it's going to happen whether you like it or not it's true it will happen but i want more focus you know like hey this kernel is really really good let's use it everywhere like nabora just switched to the cache os kernel with its own patches which is amazing and there was a good performance uplift and it's been really stable and really efficient and i'm using it right now to record and then there's serpent os which is as performant as cache os but being immutable with no drawbacks to being containerized in other words you get a fast efficient OS completely optimized out of the box without being, I guess, janky or broken or buggy like most, you know, immutable distros tend to be. Most immutable distros have a big fallback and the key one is, is actually performance. Being containerized, you end up losing about five to 10% of your performance, which normally, you know, is a bad thing. But I guess if you feel safe, then I guess it's a good thing. Serpent OS is what immutable distros should be. And honestly, the developers of most immutable distros should take note and I'll just try to do what they do or just join them in their, how do I say this, journey in the Linux because Moss is great, Serpent OS is great, gaming on it's even better. But uh, I actually, that's there's no real complaints. Now, as my journey continues, there are people who I actually have a, a held box where certain keywords trigger and they get held for uh, review. There's a lot of people still being like, oh, you'll go back to Windows. You'll go back to Windows. You'll go back to Windows. No, I won't. <laughs> no, if ever I feel like a need to go back to Windows, I just boot a different distro and then that need goes away or I jump into a really good game and that need goes away. So I will not be going back, not at all. And um, I, I those people that say that are funny. When I made the Serpent OS video, um, I got a lot of comments about uh, Bazit or whatever it's called, Bazite, right? My brain learned how to say it. And they were complaining you know, why don't you review Baz uh, Bazit, but you, you know, Bazite, but you review this. And I'm like, well, there's a difference. This doesn't have any of the issues that that one does. This one is as fast and as efficient as Cache OS, where Bazit is just nowhere even close. Bazite, oh my God, I can't, my brain's messed up now. So uh, when that hit, I got a couple negative comments and it's whatever. I'm used to it at this point, you know. They, people, most people think the life of a YouTuber is easy. It's not. You get constant harassment. You get put down constantly for your decisions. You know, you make a video someone doesn't like, they're going to fill the comment section with random things that don't apply, or someone's going to try to ask for support in the YouTube comments, like support in YouTube comments. Seriously? You know, when I respond to a comment, I usually lose it and it's gone because you respond to it it's no longer showing up and 99 percent of the time it won't ever pop up again okay so there's that so this is why we have discord this is why we have matrix if you need support head to the people that develop the os if they can't help you head to us and see if we can help you but right now the guy that really knows more than i do is you know he's on vacation at the moment and trying to get things together for himself and honestly whatever my admins are free to do whatever they wish to do. It's their lives. And I, you know, I don't 
past administrators are like, oh, I need to leave this position because my life is stressful and I can't do two things at once, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting there like, you have no obligation to do anything here. I made you an administrator because you are my friend, not because I expect you to look after the Discord. And well, they're still here, so it's weird. It's the way I run things is different than the way most people run things. And if I don't see someone for a very long time, I end up matching them like, are you guys okay? Is everything good with you? You know, and if they don't end up responding back after a couple of months, well, they most likely have completely abandoned Discord, which has been happening a lot lately as well. You guys are wondering what's going on with my eye, by the way. I have a sty in my eye, which is like a pimple type thing. It's where you get a clogged uh, duct or whatever, and it causes issues. So you have to like do a warm compress every now and again, but it looked worse yesterday. It was purple yesterday. Today it's just pink, so it's getting better. So yeah, uh, there's that answer to that, I guess. Another thing I want to see is NVIDIA focus on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, their DirectX 12 performance using VKD3D, because there's a list of things that just don't work, or there's a list of things that need to be done better on the driver side. And I think they would do much better if they did that as a focus. And I know, you know, I get how development works. Most people don't. But finding things that need fixing and fixing them is a part of development. You know, put one person on it, have them figure it out, say, hey, this is the issue. We need to do this, 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 this. And then you put out a beta driver with those things done and then you get your feedback. And again, you fix any issues that pop up and you continue onward. But when it comes to development for NVIDIA, they're a little more stressed because they have a smaller team. Most people don't understand that. They just hate on NVIDIA constantly. The, 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 the entire history of NVIDIA on Linux has been, A, we're the guys that support it this first. We're doing the best that we can. We have to focus on Mac OS. We have to also focus on Windows. So it's kind of hard to focus on everything at once. Now that Mac OS is out of the picture, they have more time to focus on, guess what? Linux. They can basically just move the team over, the Mac OS team to Linux. I don't know if they've done that or not, but they are hiring more Linux developers slowly, which is nice. And people bitch about their Wayland support. They're like, oh, they had all these years to support Wayland. All those years they were looking for better ways to support Wayland. All those years they were being shot down constantly about explicit sync. They wanted to implement explicit sync. They wanted Wayland to be on par with every other OS because every OS you run, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, uh, they all run explicit sync. They all run it. So and videos like we want to implement it let us implement it and they were constantly shot down until it was finally accepted see you can't always blame the driver developers there's always something else getting in the way and that's how well, sometimes the developers that like to fight too much wayland developers tend to fight way too much constantly and it's really annoying a color protocol that everybody is waiting on has yet to be merged and we've been waiting about four years there's just too much bickering back and forth and it needs to stop rules need to be put in place if something works and something is finished merge it view it get it done don't just sit there don't let it sit for years on end where it becomes out of date and then the developer has to go back and update it again and again and again until finally two years more it's merged because explicit sync has been there for years years since before Wayland became default on every single modern distro yeah and it's sad that it took this long because it shouldn't have taken this long it should have been this should be our focus let's get this done let's put some developers on it let's put more review time on it and then get it out and that's the reason why NVIDIA is put down so much is because the people, the end users, don't understand. The longtime Linux users don't understand. They don't know the stories. They don't know what happens with development. They say, oh, here's a pull request. Cool. And then that's it. They wait for it to get merged. They don't know about the constant bickering. They don't know about the reviews that have to happen, the code changes, the bug testing, the hard stuff. People like me. And others tend to do behind the scenes to make your life better. 
it's just the way that it is so yeah i guess i'm hoping that more users this year will step up and start bug testing things like if you want a better hdr experience test hdr movies test hdr games if you find issues report them to the kde developers report them to the gnome developers don't just sit on your asses expecting things to get better it takes a lot of manpower and a lot of time so what i want for linux this year more bug testing less pitching less toxicity less elitism and just an overall more friendly community stop guessing and assuming things you don't know the half of the development side stop putting down developers start encouraging them start pushing them forward start giving them the motivation they need to get things done i've tested gnome's hdr that's coming in gnome 48 it's brilliant it's got one bug left one little bug but it's fixable it's like all things are fixable gnome has put more work into hdr than any other desktop environment and they will never get credit for it because people constantly put gnome down but that's just the toxicity of the community of linux hate what works like what doesn't what am i to do to stand in the way of such things oh i know how i can be better and hope that it you know leaks onto others and others choose to be better and then it just grows and infects and linux just becomes a kind understanding hard-working community you want linux to grow if you want linux to be the os that everybody comes to you have to start with yourself you have to better yourself that's all if you're new here you know and you decide to subscribe even after this weird little rant thank you i have a goal of 50,000 subscribers this year i doubt i'll reach it but i'm gonna work my ass off my goal this year is also to help as many people as i can transition over to linux it doesn't matter if you're new by an hour or you're new by a week you need help you need help and that's what my videos are here for teaching package managers teaching applications showing alternative applications that's what this channel is built on so thank you for watching i do hope you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye everybody